You may remember Francine from one of my previous videos. She has been living in Puerto Vallarta and recently moved into a larger apartment that's 620 US dollars per month. Her total monthly budget is now $1,125. In today's video, she will give us a tour of her apartment and new neighborhood that's just eight blocks away from the beach in Zona Romantica. And I'll talk about the financial requirements to become a full-time resident in Mexico. <laughs> one one year later. One yeah. year later, and you got a new place, I right? I do. I do. I upgraded a little bit. Bienvenidos. Come on in. So this is my new condo apartment. Mm -hmm. I moved October one, and it's great. I turned seventy in July, and it's like someone flipped a switch. I decided I didn't want boho noise. A lot of people. I think I wanted to grow up a little bit, so I wanted a real kitchen, a nice bathroom, closet space. <laughs> so Rudy helped me find this. It's 11,500 pesos a month. So I'm paying $125 more. My budget is now $1,125. <laughs> and just to be cooking, again, when I lived in the studio apartment, I ate out so much. And it never really affected my budget. But now that I'm cooking at home, I'm finding myself really not spending more than $1,000 a month, even though this is a little bit more in rent. Yep. Now, what I did, which is also really cool, is I recycled all the fabrics from the studio, which people who saw the first video will recognize all these fabrics. So I put them all in here and was able to reuse them. Uh, the little touches are mine. <laughs> the art is mine. I haven't had, since I moved to Mexico, a decent bathroom. And I have never had storage in the bathroom. So I feel like I've landed in the lap of luxury. And that's a little bodega. You can put a washer and dryer in there if you'd like. Food. This couch in this area is actually a futon. So if I have an overnight guest or a friend stopped by and gets too late and she wants to stay over, there she goes, right on the futon. But this is my new neighborhood. This is a university across the street here. It's the computer lab. It's nice. Very traditional neighborhood. The, the river. river's two blocks away. Mm -hmm. So this is eight blocks on the same street from my old house. Yeah. Yes, I'm eight blocks from the beach. <laughs> but this is Me Cafe, very trendy Soho-like cafe across the street. And I'm so glad to have the mountains nearby. It's a little more affordable over here? Oh, absolutely. Look what I just got for 11,500 pesos a month. I think closer to town it would be more like 18,000 for the place that I have. But this is a little bit off the beaten track. It's not in the romantic zone. And it's happy hour across the street. <laughs> Everybody's is, really happy. It is happy hour here with all the expats. Yeah. Is this a good place to hang out? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Do, do all of you like live around here? Oh, well, I live in Cinco de December. Okay. We're in the last time I saw you. Nice. Around the corner. Around the corner? Up the hill. Up the hill. Oh, you're from far away then, right? This is my drinking shirt I wear every day. <laughs> That's a good shirt. <laughs> okay, so what I love about this part of town is they've left all the trees. So you almost always have a shady side of the street no matter how hot the day is. And right now there's a beautiful breeze blowing and lots of small little boutique hotels all along the way and also a lot of hostels in this area. It's an amazing neighborhood. I love the trees, the traditional style buildings. I think that my condo building is the only condo building in the area. And it's 12, 12 uh -huh. condos. And it's a very artsy neighborhood. If you look across the street, you can see, and you look up at the windows, 
You can see the artistic design and people's creativity. This is a local fruit and vegetable market that's one block from my house. And the one that we're at now specializes in one and two day old produce and they really cut the prices. The one across the street is same day delivery and they're a little bit higher, but any, this is a local market so the prices are great. Again, it's almost a year later and the starving artists have landed on their feet. For those of you that saw the first video, you know that they lost their space during the pandemic and we invited them when I was working in the real estate office to put all their art on the wall. And here we are a year later and it is a phenomenal space. Most amazing artists that you're going to get to see now. Wow, this place is looking great. Hi. 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 I'm on there, man. <laughs> hey Rudy, how's it going? Good, good. How are wow, you? Jim? Good seeing you again. We just opened on September 15th uh, mm -hmm. on the Independence Day in Mexico. The concept here is that we open a place where it's more like a, it's called a venue. And the venue has two, two different doors, you can say. Um, and these doors, one is for the gallery and one is for the spa. So um, in the spa section, we do um, what is officials. We do massages, we do haircuts, uh, nails, and on the area with the gallery, on Wednesday nights, we have what is called the Art Walk, where we invite everybody in Vallarta to come and hang out with us. Sometimes we have the artists here talking to the clients that come and hang out, and we offer wine and music, and we just talk a little bit about their pieces that they have shown here in the gallery. There's a for rent sign right there. That's how I find places a lot of times. Fully furnished, day, month, year. It's a very interesting story. I decided in August, like I said, about a month after I turned 70 that I wanted to upgrade a little bit. So Rudy kept looking online and he kept sending me pictures of what looked to be great apartments. Some as far away as Versailles, some in Cinco de, C, de, de, de Ciembre. I can never get that all out, too many Ds. Mm -hmm. um, and so we had been looking at one place after the other and I would stand there and say, Rudy, they must have photoshopped the pictures online. You know, this is not, why is the refrigerator in the living room? It was not in the living room on the pictures we saw. Mm -hmm. So I, the last one was a Friday night and it was pouring down rain. I was drenched and we walked in and it was absolutely awful. And my price range, I really didn't want to go over 11,000, 11,005. And he was really doing his best. He called me later that night and said, I have one more. And I said, no, I'm done. I'll stay where I am. I'm not going to go see another horrible place. He said, will you trust me? I said, yeah, I guess so. He said, and it's on the street that you live. It's a couple blocks up exactly eight as it turned out to be. So I met him here and we walked in and we walked through it and I took Rudy into the bedroom and I said, I really want this. He <laughs> said, don't worry. He said, I sent the landlord the other video. <laughs> and he said, as soon as you walked in, he said to me, I want her. Yes, yes, I have the privilege of having a lot of people come in wanting to live like Francine, you know. Francine was just like off the hook with the phone and everything. So he's like, Rudy, please help me. Everybody was really excited about coming to Puerto Vallarta and have the kind of life that Francine had. And I was able to help some of them. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they wanted like in three months, come, come in three months. And I would tell them, you know, sometimes uh, you will need to be like a month uh, before you come and start getting ready because three months is too long for, to make a deposit and things like that. But yes, I had the privilege of ha helping some, uh, some really good clients and they were really happy and I found them really nice places as well. So my Facebook, I think, is the best way to find me. The Facebook page is called Beaches Please Real Estates. Okay. And there I have different albums with different uh, different properties uh, so whenever you visit you can also send me an instant message and I can just reply right back. Even though Francine lives in Mexico for a little over a thousand dollars per month the requirements to become a full-time resident are more demanding. She meets those requirements and is able to save money each month. 
Mexico has a very generous visa system. Almost anyone can receive a 180-day, six-month tourist visa for free. Recently, Mexico has been cracking down on people that are staying for 180 days, leaving Mexico for a few days, and then returning for another 180 days. It is not recommended to try to live long-term on a tourist visa. If you want to stay for longer than six months, you'll need to apply for a temporary resident card. If you meet the income requirements, this isn't hard to get, though you will need to schedule your interview at a Mexican consulate outside of Mexico. Keep in mind that the financial requirements for temporary residency are higher than the cost of living for most people. Depending on where you apply, you will need to earn about 2,400 to 2,700 US dollars per month or have a savings or investment of 45,000 US dollars over the last 12 months. A temporary resident visa can be extended for up to four years. It is initially approved for one year and renewed for one to three years. After a four-year maximum, you must apply for a permanent resident visa, which is a fairly simple process. You can help support this channel by sharing this video with someone that might find it helpful. If you would like to see more videos like this, let us know in the comments below. And please take the time to explore our other cost of living guides and lifestyle profiles. For more information, visit www.livingoverseas.tv.